Hola. What's good here at Paul's? Good stuff in here? Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode, we're continuing our Louisiana Festival adventure during the Ponchatoula Strawberry Festival. In our last episode, the Nola Gent needed to find some food, but the long lines at the festival canceled our original plans to showcase some of the vendors' festival food. Fortunately, there was still plenty of space inside Paul's Cafe, right where we first entered the Strawberry Festival. Paul's Cafe was established back in 1976 and has been a popular restaurant with locals and visitors ever since. Paul's is especially popular during the Ponchatoula Strawberry Festival, where their strawberry daiquiris are very popular. Paul's Cafe is located in Ponchatoula at 100 East Pine Street. Paul's is a great spot for cold drinks, sandwiches, breakfast, daiquiris, po' boys, community coffee, cold beer, and lunches. So, I've been wanting to eat at Paul's for a long time, but I've never had the opportunity until today. So I'm really excited to finally try this place out that I've been seeing for years, but never got to go inside of it. As every time I'm at the Strawberry Festival, I usually go and eat all the fast food, but for this visit, I'm ready to actually go inside Paul's and eat. Now on my last visit to Ponchatoula, Paul's wasn't even open and I was kind of disappointed in that. But after many years, I finally get to try it out. Let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Oh yes, it looks really great inside here. They have some fantastic woodwork. They have a great little bar with a menu right over it. So look at all of the wonderful just atmosphere in here. Let's check out the menu. So we have plate lunch specials with chicken and sausage, jambalaya, corn green beans, roast beef, rice and gravy, corn green beans, red beans, rice and sausage, corn and green beans. Then we have sandwiches with a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a roast beef, a barbecue, and then you can get all those as a po' boy as well, and a side of french fries. Then we have cold drinks with some soft drink products and iced tea, and then cold Budweiser, regular or light, a beat of strawberry, Coors Light, Miller Light, Juicifer, Michelob Ultra, and Catahoula Common. Then we have strawberry lemonade or strawberry tea. I was torn between the roast beef plate and the cheeseburger, and I asked the waitress which one she thought would be better today. She said the cheeseburger also kind of wanted a beer, and, uh, you know, the strawberry lemonade, though, caught my gander. So it already had a daiquiri, so why not the lemonade? And then I decided to get the cheeseburger, and I kind of was disappointed in the size of the meat here and was kind of regretting not getting the roast beef plate, but let's try it out. All right, so typically I edit out a lot of my chewing in between bites, but I've had more than a few people accuse me of not chewing my food appropriately. So in this video, I'm gonna show you that I'm actually quite an excellent, thorough chewer. I might even chew more than I should, but I really am a believer in thoroughly chewing my food before swallowing. So for all of you folks out there that didn't believe me when I said that I really do chew my food a lot, Here's your evidence that I really do like to completely and totally chew my food and I put great vigor and gusto in ensuring that I do an excellent job of um, chewing. So, overall, um, I'd say this burger to me was a low medium on uh, my ranking of all the burgers I've ever had before. So, it certainly wasn't the worst burger, definitely not the best burger, and it was an okay burger. And uh, the meat was a little on the thinner side from my preference. Overall though, you know, it certainly was a decent burger. Um, I was a little irritated that they only had tiny little packets of condiments for me. Now since it is the Strawberry Fest and it's a madhouse outside, we'll give them a little leeway on all points. So on a typical day, everything can be completely different in here. So since this is the peak madness of Strawberry Festival, we'll give them quite a lot of leeway and the benefit of the doubt that in normal times, they probably put out a better product overall, and I need to get back here on a more normal day and time to see what their food here is like then. And I'm also very thankful that I was actually able to get in and get a seat to actually get something to eat, because I didn't have to wait in line like I would have at all the other vendors with those huge lines. So, I'm happy that I've got some food right now. 
that alone makes the day a better day overall than being hungry and starving and standing in a long line. All right, here's a good bite. Now I'm out of meat. Oh, you know I get grumpy when I'm up with bun and no meat. The meat bun ratio is off this damn little bit here. So overall, though, the structural integrity was really good. Everything held together quite fantastically. So uh, all those ratings were pretty good. And now we got a sample of these french fries. Uh, these look like the just regular old O'Reilly french fries from the freezer section of most grocery stores. And uh, they've got a pretty decent taste. They're cooked all good. So everything is about the way you'd expect for this kind of french fry. So here we go. We're having a uh, nice serving size. And, uh, you know, it's about normal average kind of fry. Not the best, not the worst. I could use a little more seasoning. Here we go, my last two, and now, here we go. So just like I've destroyed this burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this cheeseburger and fries. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for my meal with tip was $15.25. Next, I was ready to go hang out and cool down in a great bar, and I knew that the Ponch Tula Pub was a great spot, located at 165 West Pine Street. So, let's go check it out. Look at here at the Ponch Tula Pub. Prost! And a whole slodge over there, too. <laughs> So they were charging a $2 admission to get in due to Strawberry Festival, and I was kind of hoping that that $2 would go towards my first drink, but that was not the case. So it's a pretty cool bar inside here, and they also have some pretty decent drink specials during normal times, but they were not honoring them for Strawberry Fest time. So their Monday special is $6 doubles, Tuesday is $2 domestic lawn necks, Wednesday $2 glass of house lawn, Thursday two for one draft, Friday jukebox Friday, Saturday no special, and then Sunday the holy two for one draft until seven. Then they had some more specials that were not specials today that were two for one effing vodka, pinnacle vodka, do Amsterdam gin, and glass of Behringer and Grand Cru. And of course, it was also cash only today, so they had $3 Bud Light, Miller Light, Budweiser, Coors Light, a festival special of a Berry Bash for $8, and then a $4 Michelob Ultra. I got a Yingling, and it was $4 too, and I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Yingling's usually cheaper than Budweiser at the store, and most bars charge the same price for a Yingling as a Budweiser. Ah. They also have food here with their pub grub of chicken tenders, chicken wings, cheese sticks, mini corn dogs, egg rolls, french fries, mini tacos. Feed the buzz. Overall though, this is still a really cool bar and it's a fun place to hang out and it's probably my favorite overall bar at Ponchatoula. So it's definitely a great place to come hang out, check out, and have a good time. So, thanks so much to everybody at Paul's Cafe and the Ponchatoula Pub and all of Ponchatoula for the Strawberry Fest. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.